Today's summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Yuya. Yuya, senpai. Salutations, Venice. I'm an honor as an... I... I am honored to act as your escort tonight, my love. Oh, Yuya, sorry, did I keep you waiting, senpai? <laughs> Don't worry about it. A gentleman never le keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. That's pretty early. Earlier than I would. Shall we go, Monami? I can't tell if I'm losing the accent. A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Venice. Least, least of the crowd to separate us. Eh? Don't... <laughs> uh, don't tell me you're a hand-holding virgin! Oh, God. Better late than never. You were the one who invited me, okay? Mm, okay. His feathers are soft. Senpai! Maybe be making me all red. <laughs> this was fun, Venice. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Um, Yuya? What is it? Do you want to play some more? The night is yet young, and it, if dangerous games are to des are you are your desire, I will accompany you. That's not what I meant. I want to ask you something. Of course, just my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lie to the doctor Shu? Why did you lie about his formulas? <laughs> She, she said that she was going to the restroom, so I should just go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Venice? I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I haven't seen you before I went to the infirmary. But you told the doctor that we've been together. Why? That was a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. You, you knew I was lying then, so why did you play along, Monami? Because the doctor looked mad. Doing my own thing. Because the doctor looked mad. I felt like if I didn't help you, he was going to do something to you. Hey, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Sorry, Monami. Hunter gathering instincts are too much for me. But yes, I haven't helped. I haven't helped me back then. I'd probably be in a little plastic bag in the freezer by now. Ugh. That. Yeah. That. That's not funny. Cause that's like a horror story. Indeed, it isn't funny at all. It's not a joke. It, oh. Please give me a straight answer, Yuya. That was a straight answer. I always, I'm always straight. In love. Almost always. No, I, I meant... <gasps> uh, Venice, could you do me a favor? What now? You're just trying to avoid the question again. Shh. Listen, I only say this once. What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around, almost nervously. I'm sorry, Monami. It looks like we have to. We had better split up. Can you get home all by yourself? Of course, I. Good, good girl. We part ways as soon as we reach that intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. The night roads are laden with traps. Be careful. Adieu, Monami. I think I lost the accent. He turned briskly and disappeared into the narrow alleyway. I don't think it's that alleyway, but whatever. What earth is going on? You told me not to look back, but... Oh, that sounded like a gun. Yeah. I think he's gum-shoeing. Or at least... Anyway, detective style, I guess. Later that night, he sent me an email. Did you make it home in one place? I'll be visiting in your dreams, Monami. So sleep well. Uh, yep. Bears tension. Felt from him earlier. Are you alright? You, yeah. He really is a mysterious bird. I think I assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries of Saint Pigeon Nations. A late sun sunset 
in summer makes me want to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is, is off already. I think I'm gonna get some udon and go home before I get life canceled. Yuya! Wait, isn't that Yuya? He's roaming around in a garbage can. Out of all the things. I gave you a rich and it's snooty voice, but a lot lighter, a lot softer than Saki does. So why haven't... Oh, God. Yuya, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far, Mongrel? Good evening, Monami. You sound rather like a certain someone. I, I can't believe you need to fish around in the trash cans for food, Yuya. Please, don't misunderstand, Miss Monami. I was looking for something. Sadly, no clues were to be found in this barrel. It's a fucking trash can, dude. You're getting yourself dirty. Clues, what is he talking about? Let's keep this a secret from Sakia, shall we? I would hate for him to have a new name for me at school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal. Something like that. <laughs> I would like to escort you home, Monami. But unfortunately, I am somewhat busy at the moment. Will you be alright on your own? A hunter gathers gatherer can always find her way home. Bitch. Senpai, I mean, no, you're not a bitch. You're my senpai. Indeed, for do, Amonami. The smell of garbage surround surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night, but the myster but the mysteries don't. What was he looking for? I have no idea. Ah, uh, I knew I shouldn't have gotten up when I first woke up. Okay, I was doing a thing. Oh, this... Help Mr. Nanaki study in the library. Return to my glorious abode. Should I help him? <clears throat> or should I just say fuck off? Eh. When the time comes, I'll help you. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I'm, I must return to my people with the spoils of war. Lay my <laughs> bloody sword at the- What? <laughs> My bloody sword at the feet of my great king and celebrate my conquest of all the land from here to distant Macedonia. <laughs> oh, have fun! Wow, what an interesting way to say, hey, I didn't mean to come here, so I'm just gonna go back home. Oh man. Koo! Oko san is always having fun! I think that's the voice I'm gonna give you. Yep, yep. Mm, well, this is fun. The only fun I know of is throwing money at a TV and my servants. When summer's over, you try to blah blah blah. Second term! Wait, skipping too much. Oh wait, that's the ID. Okay. Hey, no, don't skip that. <laughs> Charisma! Oh no, I forgot my recorder! I don't think we have any spares. I do have a... Hitraka, at least what? You can play that. Leveled up. I'm so good at being char charismatic. I shall become mayor of this town because of my charismatic ways. Ooh. Oh yeah, school festival. Today's the school festival. Our school decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have the day off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Didn't Yuya say his class was doing a butler cafe in the courtyard? <laughs> As a member of the May team, I can't ignore this threat. <laughs> I should. Go spy on him. Stay here. No. We're gonna go spy him. My senpai cannot win this butler battle. Ah, uh, no fair. They have all this and we're stuck in a classroom? I think we've already lost in terms of location. Oh, look at that suit. Aren't you fancy? Monami? Yuya! How, how kind of you to come see me. Wait, no. Welcome back, my lady. Please, come this way. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Oh, senpai. <laughs> oh, he does look good. I think I'm blushing. Senpai? You're not fooling around? You're, you're not fooling anyone, senpai. You say that... You said that to everybody, right? It is my duty for today. Please forgive me, my lady. Jeez. 
What's your class doing, Bonami? A maid cafe. Well, well, I suppose that makes us rivals. You've certainly done a great job of infiltrating our base, I must say. Maids versus butlers, battle of the school ground. I think it's a bit much. No, sounds like a good game. Someone make that. <laughs> You're not on duty today, or are you taking a break? I'm on duty tomorrow. <sighs> I see, in that case, I shall come witness your maidery. I will, of course, ask for you. I await your return, master. Wait, what did I say? I'm falling for him. We're getting a brand new cleaning supplies from the infirmary today. It doesn't seem a particularly dirty room, but for some reason, their voice run out really quickly. Yeah, went ahead, and I can't keep him waiting. Blast off at the speed of light to maintain office and beyond. Huh? Oh, who's this? You used talking with the janitor, Mr. W oh, Wan? I hope I'm saying that right. I wouldn't expect that Mr. Wan, the quiet, f fopish bird with a cult following, to get along with the infamous stud muffin, Sakuya, uh, I mean, Sazaki Yuya. Why? Oh, I bet he's only crouched because of that. That thing right there. <laughs> mm, but I don't think we found any evidence. Right, I'll check the others. Yeah, senpai! <laughs> oh, man. Salutations, Monami. I was waiting for you. Oh, wait, wrong person. I was waiting for you. Here, take this heavy stuff. You take the broom. That is that, then. Wait, no. That is that, in. Wait. <laughs> that is that, in. Oh. I, I've already lost track of his voice. Mr. One retreats into his lair with an unsociable expression. Mr. One seems kind of a loner. I wonder if it's part of his job description. He's a nice fellow once you get to know him. I think his tactical nature does him great injustice personally. You're friends with him? I do have a lot of opportunities to talk to him. Yes. I was only... It was only to be expected. It starts carrying the supplies down the hall, ending the conversation. So uh, I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Mm. I don't know. I'll pry Senpai open if I have to. Oh, we're going to decide our major soon. I haven't thought about it at all. I need to have a career all worked out in this te by this time next year, won't I? I wonder if Yuya's already decided on his. Maybe I'll go ask him for advice. Student A. Um. Well, since it's not specifically a boy or a girl, I shall give this person a girl's voice. Did you wait, Sasasaki? Hey, did Sasasaki come in this morning? Mm, yeah, he was here this morning. Don't know where he went. Doesn't he attend class? Mm, he's never been particularly, particularly serious. Particularly serious? No, he isn't even here half the time. I don't think he's planning on going to university, is he? I never realized. Mm, if he's still here, he's probably in the infirmary or the shop. I'll go to the shop first. We didn't have infirmary duty today, and my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me he's there. Yo, Yuya! Oh, uh, hello, Monami. You startled me. That was easier than expected. That can be kind of weird, though. Is he? He isn't Scott shoplifting, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure. Here. Wah. Takes my hand and runs off. Runs from the store. What are you doing? Why can't you track me into this empty hallway? Are you excited? No! Oh, well... Why'd you come talk to me, Monami? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? Yes! <laughs> no, I just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. It's not like I wanted to make out with you, senpai! <laughs> God... You're, you're always such, you've always been a diligent girl, Venice. You know hanging around me is dangerous, though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? Well, you might get shot, knife, dis dis dismembered, drowned, buried alive, that sort of thing. 
I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. You're scaring me, senpai. Don't, don't think too hard. It means exactly what I said. I'm going to disappear from the school soon, Monami. I know it isn't easy, but you should forget about me. That'll be for the best. His tone of voice is, is as carefree as ever, and his eyes are dead serious. I don't think he's joking. I'm kind of hard. Wait, no. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. You know the rumors that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and quill pins in the shop? Uh, well? Why don't you think I'm so forward, Monami? Why do you think I work in the infirmary? Live an honest life, happy life, honest ado. <sighs> I'm losing, and my voice is dry. So dry. Senpai, wait! 